Good morning. It's Monday. It's, if you're not in Jacksonville, it's like super rainy outside. Mm, it's just dreary. If I were to give this like a name, it feels like folklore. Now, you may not know my absolute love for Taylor Swift. I mean, I'm sorry that you don't because I, because I love her and she's like amazing, but that's how this feels. So I'm probably going to listen to her album on repeat today while I get things done. Um, so today is Monday. We are, I think at the end of this week, we'll have hit the halfway point for the semester, um, which feels very like surprising for me. It doesn't feel like we're quite there. Um, so I've been trying to think like, what are we doing well this semester? What could we do better? And how could we go about doing that? So I have been kind of looking over the videos that we've been making or I've been making and thinking like, okay, well, what does that mean? And how does this work? So hopefully you guys are still enjoying all of your online classes. Um, but today I thought we could talk about, unless someone has a question and if you do, like there's the comment box. I get it backwards every time. So you can drop a comment that says like, Hey, could you talk about this? Could you talk about that? probably can. Um, but if there are no questions, so how do we do the rest of this semester? Well, um, I think, I think it's hard. I think we are all still trying to adapt to everything online and trying to figure out how to get help when we, when we, you know, have questions or whatever. So I think, um, one coming to office hours, this office hour, um, or the Zoom office hours, which today's are canceled. Um, I have a meeting. I seem to have a lot of meetings that pop up on Monday mornings, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I will figure that out. So I just kind of wanted to talk about how do you study? What do we do now? Because likely we're moving into material you don't know. So you can't really be like, oh, I learned that in high school. I don't need to study. Or, and that should be somewhat true in all of your classes, you know, we're just kind of moving on and trying new to learn new things, which is good. It's not bad. Um, but I think that the, the best way forward is to try to plan in advance. So the exam is not, hold on, let me look at my calendar. It's two weeks and two days from today. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what day it is anymore. I mean, I know it's Monday because I have office hours, but like what day of the month? I don't know. October is always hard. It's like the middle part of a race. The beginning's fun. The end is awesome because it's over, but this is the middle part. Um, so two weeks from today. So sometime this upcoming weekend, you should start kind of thinking about how to study and looking back over topics that you're like, you know, I could use some more help with that. So that over the next 10 days, you can come to my office hours. Um, if you've never been or if you come here, um, I will try next week to have some, like, here are some hard topics. Here's how you do it kind of stuff. But by and large, I don't really, it's really hard to help in office hours. But I'll be honest, you can come with your Alex objectives and just be like, I don't know how to do this one. And then we'll do it. We'll work as many as we can until office hours are over. Um, and so that's always a good sign. Um, I want to be here to help. I like being helpful. Uh, so when we think about structuring our time, um, so I have a planner, which I think I've shown in a couple of these. I will not, wait, well, let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. We don't need to look a lot at it, but you can see, whoops, that there's blue stuff, which was the list and purple where I mark it off and things where I just kind of like make check marks or status marks. So this has been helping me. The other thing I've been doing is to make like a big week list and a month list. So this is last week's list. We don't really need to watch, read it because it says things like post the announcement because sometimes I forget stuff and I really like to check stuff off. So if I were thinking about my Gen Chem list for the week, it would be like Alex objectives, weekly assignment. I don't know, something else. But next week I would be like outline chapter four notes, outline chapter five notes, 
chapter six, Alex, and then like all of those things so that when you get to the exam, you've already spent time doing most of the prep work. Um, so I don't talk about it a lot, but I love to cook. So I forget what chef it was. Um, a long time ago, started talking about, cause like, y'all, I love the Food Network. Things I love, baking, Taylor Swift, cooking, obviously chemistry, ion channels, but baking is nice and so is cooking. Here's why. So one of the things that they talk about is, it's called mise en place, which is French for I have no idea, but it basically means you do all of the tiny prep work before you make the meal. Um, I've also, oh, at times, I don't currently right now, but I've had a subscription to HelloFresh. I love it. You want to know why? Because it comes with everything you need. I don't have to go to the store. I just show up and make dinner. But the first step is always like, chop this thing and do this and like almost always like zest a lemon. But that's beside the point. But the important part is that it's all the prep work. And then when you make the food, you're not like trying to chop and like do something else at the same time. Studying should be the same. Spend some time doing the prep work, organizing your notes, figuring out the things you don't know, looking for extra problems, downloading the worksheets, downloading the end of chapter problems. So if you've got all of that together, when you sit down to study, you can study. It, so I find that if the first 10 minutes of my cooking is chopping and prepping and getting everything, and I have all these cute little bowls, um, cause I'm crazy apparently. Um, all those little bowls, I can put all the different ingredients in there and then I can just make food. Now, I have a dishwasher in this place. So that makes my life happier because I hate doing dishes. I've said it, dishes are terrible. But popping a bunch of little bowls in the dishwasher, I can do, that's easy. Um, sometimes I wash them by hand, but no. Why have a dishwasher and not use it? So, but as we do all of the prep work, you can then move through the studying and not be like, oh, I didn't get this out. So sometimes I'll read the ingredient list and get out the spices or the olive oil, which you always need olive oil, or anything else. So if something has to come out of the freezer or it needs to come out of the pantry or anything else, I can do that. Um, and so that helps me. So figuring out what the plan is, is always my first step. So today, um, I'll show you my planner for like today. There's literally nothing written here. So this is the meeting I have after this, this like dot tape. It's like washi tape. I went through an obsession where I bought like all the washi tape and then I realized I didn't have a plan for it. So that was the end of that. But that tells me that during this time block, I've off sours. Not that I forget, but like I do. And so the first thing I will do after my meeting is sit down and write down all the things I want to accomplish today and try to include things that help. So today for dinner, I am making, what am I making? Ooh, it's called beef and bean ragu. It goes in the crock pot. So all day it's going to smell amazing in my house and I'm super excited about it, but I'm going to put that on my planner and I would like to work out today. I am experimenting with adding that to my calendar. And putting in my planner with specific times to say, like, this happens at this time. So the other thing I have also done is I, I don't think I've done it in a day that I could remember. But I will write down things like from two to four, Jen can. And then I'll make a list of all the tasks I need to do for that so that it helps me organize. Um, and so being organized up front helps me be, be more productive. Now, you might be like, were you always like this? No, no. Um, in college, I tried and I have developed different systems at different times. Um, but I do remember for finals and during exam week, I would write out like on Monday, here were my different study tasks. And I think I was super like, kind of, I don't want to say crazy, but I would write out like one class in one color and another class in a different color. And I would try to set up like before finals, like, okay, I want to spend 90 minutes on this. And I, 90 minutes on that or something else. Um, and that helped me, but it was also a different time. And so like my cell phone didn't play games or have alerts or do anything else. You could 
pretty much put it on silent, put it in your backpack and not think about it for three hours. So that is different. And so I always recommend to put your phone on silent. When you're going to try to study, put your phone on silent. Um, or um, I have been known to throw mine in a bag or to put it somewhere else. But I also, pro tip, close my email box. Now, I do know um, that generationally, most of you guys don't do email the same way that I do. Um, but that may mean that you need to, bear with me, put your Snapchat, put your Instagram, put your, I don't think Facebook is as popular. Um, and I'm definitely not going to advocate for you putting YouTube alerts on silent. But you could just hit the do not disturb button. And then come back in two hours. Um, start with like 20 minutes at a time. Because if you just go jumping right into the two hours, no alerts, it's kind of hard. But in the beginning, you can get better at it pretty quickly. So studying means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So when I think about studying, it's whatever tasks I need to do for whatever class I have. Um, so for I teach a lab class. In that class this week, I need to prep some stuff for the next set of experiments. So that's not really studying, but it is part of getting ready. And so the trick is to balance what is a study task and what is not. Personally, I lump it all into the same thing and try to think about it as anything that's helping me learn stuff for this class helps. So what do we do when you identify something you're like, I, I missed that boat, right? So maybe molarity is a hard topic and that's okay. But what do you do when you don't know how to solve types of problems? Or if it's an, uh, any other class, if you're like in biology, it's like, you know, I don't really understand what makes an animal cell different than a plant cell, different than a prokaryotic cell. What makes all those different? So how do you figure that out? What do you do? So one, notes. Hopefully you have notes. If you don't, that will be step number one, start taking notes. So you can do that. Look back over your notes. See if your notes help you. If they don't, go back to the source. In this class, go watch the video again. Or you can read the textbook. Or you can watch a video by a different author. So I know that my videos are the way I think. It's possible that you don't like that way. But that doesn't make it, there's nothing wrong with that you can learn from lots of different sources. It's called research. Um, and so if you find that what you would prefer would be to look at a video put out by someone else or there are videos by different organizations, other professors, there are a lot of options right now due to the pandemic. And so the trick is to just find something that works for you. So there's that. Go to office hours. I love my office hours. I love when my students come. I love to see my students. I love to be able to spend time together. Um, and so if you guys come to office hours, it's super easy for me to help you with any topic. So you don't have to have a question. You can have a, I don't know how to do this Alex objective. You can have a, I hate my major. What do I want to do with my life? Lots of options. Um, so those are ways that you can try to figure it out. Then you need to test yourself. Not like a test test, but you need some way to say, like, did I learn this? So that can be the worksheets, end of chapter problems. You could go back and redo the problem solving session problems um, because the answers are there. So what doesn't work is just making up problems because you don't know the right answer. So, ow. sorry, I legit just gave myself a paper cut. Um, so those are just kind of my thoughts. So. How, how do we go about, well, we've talked about designing a study plan. We don't need to talk about that. Let's see other thoughts. Oh, guys, it's October. It's spooky season. Um, Lily, the dog, is a bumblebee. She has a bee costume. She's the cutest bee I've ever seen. I mean, I'm super partial because she's my dog, but she's going to be a bee for Halloween. Um... I don't think we'll be going trick-or-treating. I mean, maybe I'll just hide treats around my house, right? Oh my God, how fun would that be? Um, if I do that, I'll make a video. I'll send it to you because everybody wants to see the dog. She is, 
exact out right here. Um, the fact that I work from home is her absolute favorite. It just makes her so happy. So, you know what makes me happy? And I say this every week, coffee. Um, God, coffee is so good. I just love it. Today's mug, since we now do all those kinds of things. Sorry, it has like coffee drips all over the edge because because life. It is a plain white ceramic Fleur de Lis. If you didn't know, much of my family is from Louisiana, and I just love Fleur de Lis. Um, there are lots of them in this space, none of which you can see from this angle. You can just see my she believes she could, so she did, which is true. So, I'm trying to think what other wisdom I have to impart to you. As always, if you have a question, that's a comment box. Actually, I don't know where it is on your screen, so, but I'm pretty sure it's right there. So you can drop one in the box, and I can talk about that. Or, I'll just keep talking, because that's how we roll. So, ooh, taking notes. What does taking notes mean? So, one of the big misconceptions I personally think with taking notes is that people feel like it should be a complete record. So everything that someone says should go down. I think in the digital space, that is much easier to achieve. Um, when we think about digital space, online, you can basically write down everything and if you don't get something, you can reverse, go back in time, rewind. You could rewind and then basically go forward and get any information. But someday, we're all pretty sure that we'll be able to go back to live class. So how do we take notes? I'm a big fan of actually writing. Um, I also teach chemistry, and so in my opinion, there's a lot of drawing or like solving of equations, and I am not fast enough at doing that in like a Word document for that to work. Um, I do think you could do it with um, like an iPad. I do, my iPad's way over there. But you can definitely take notes. I take notes a lot in, like when I go to big meetings on my iPad, just so I don't have to carry as much stuff. Um, I have an Apple Pencil, which I'm kind of obsessed with. So that always works. But those are kind of the things that I think are super helpful. Um, write down things. I'm a big fan of arrows. So this, and then like something else over here, and then draw over here, to where I can try to see the connections. So like if we're solving problems, Notes are kind of just the problem. It's whatever work there is. So maybe your work looks a little different than mine or something else. Um, but those are kind of my thoughts on how you take notes. I'm a big fan of, if it is a cl class, using the slide templates that are provided. So on Canvas, usually, no, always. What am I talking about usually? I post the slides. Um, and so you should be able to write on those somewhat similarly to the way I do um, in the videos. So hopefully that works. Yeah. Alex last week was a real grind. Hey David, which Alex topics were you fall into the a real grind category? Was it the a solid dissolved in a liquid that one or the other one that a lot of students think is annoying um, is the Q plus W equals delta E table. Um, those are the two topics that I typically find that students don't care for. Um, but your question is, is the exam going to be similar to Alex or more the practice problems? I would say more the practice problems. So to some extent, it'll be kind of a mix between the two and maybe a little different flavor, but I don't write Alex and I write almost everything else. So the collaborative problem solvings. Okay. Um, for the titration questions, it will be somewhat similar to the weekly assignment that you had due yesterday. Um, that's how I tend to ask titration questions. So that's that one. Um, for the, okay, that's good feedback. Um, I'm sorry, Alex is being so difficult. 
but I think that that's kind of normal. Alex also can kind of harp on some topics and ask things in a way that you're not familiar with. But the weekly assignments and the practice problems and most of the, the Wednesday session lives, I write or modify from somewhere else. Um, you should expect those type of things, which is probably how you felt about exam one, that it wasn't Alex. So I, I'm not going to take anything directly from Alex. Um, I've been trying to include Alex-like problems in the problem solving session so that if you guys are having issues, you can go back and rewatch those. But I will write it. So if that, does that answer your question? So I think when we think about Alex, for the ones that are like super hard, I would recommend giving, well, here's a hack. If you answer the one in Alex, um, as long as you put in a number, it doesn't, it will count against you. But if you hit, I don't know, too many times in a row, it will lock you out. So I would suggest trying to do a little bit less of that. But does anybody else have any other questions today? Oh, I have heard that about Alex. Um, I think Alex does a better job than some other homework systems. I think it gives you guys more skill building exercises. But I do agree that sometimes the work in Alex, like how they show you how to do it, is, in my opinion, trying to get from here to Tallahassee, but going through Miami. Um, and so I would suggest... You can use any method I present either in a video or in the live session, and, and that will get you to the right answer. Um, even though Alex will have you do some many other calculations. So that, those are my suggestions. Anybody else have any other questions this morning about how to, how to study, how to do homework? I don't know a lot about exam two yet. I have not started writing it. It will be administered the same way as the first exam online in Canvas. I will, in fact, set up the time correctly this time. Canvas and I will not have a fight. Sorry about that. Um, but that's kind of the way I think about that. So other questions this morning? Anything else? I do have that meeting here in just a second, but I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer in case someone else is like, you know what? I got a question. Let's see. Well... If nobody else has any questions, I think I'm going to pop off. Um, I have this meeting today. If you stop in my Zoom room and I get the alert in time, I will try to hop over and answer any questions you have. Otherwise, feel free to come back on Wednesday, which is via Zoom, or on Friday, also via Zoom. Or send me an email and I am happy to talk or to help you solve anything. Y'all have a fantastic Monday and hopefully it will stop raining soon. Bye.